so now land reclamation bill i think for the first time we are hearing the land reclamation bill or land reclamation bill the land reclamation bill is nothing but occupying the empty lands which were once occupied by the sea or the marshy track regions are been rebought back into the existing land levels so how this has been possible in bombay that's what we are going to discuss now the land reclamation in bombay the land reclamation in bombay has been a very drastic step which has been required during that time who was the father or the main person who initiated this process the person who initiated this process was william horby in 1784 william horby in 1784 the then governor initiated the process of building the great sea wall so if you build a great sea wall a sea wall which is stopping the sea from further coming inside into the land region so when a sea wall has been built that would automatically result in the stop of the water and the land which has been left out which was initially been occupied by the sea would become an empty land which will be giving extra scope to encroach into that land by the people so as a requirement of the land increased the british officials of during that time decided to build a great sea wall which is on demand so now william horby planned to build a great sea wall so the great sea wall was built under the process to claim the lost land to the sea simple we can divide the word re do it something again claim get it back action so reclamation re claim getting back the action of the land which has been initially was a land but initially it was good later when the sea expanded it came to this part and brought this land also under the influence of the sea now we are restricting the influence of the sea by building a great sea wall that's what the process of reclamation this reclamation has proved a very very positive sign towards the growth of bombay because the additional commercial place it has required place because it is growing day to day basis private as well as the government offices private industries all need place so the several plans have been planned in order to get the excess land or the reclamation land from bombay this reclamation land is highly required because of the necessity and the growth of the demand for land so finally even the private owners are ready to risk their money in order to get this land in built because they need land and they need to do their business in most of the cases nearly all the factories has been shut down because of the lack of land and the proper uh, proper facilities are not been provided so finally the back bay which has been built has added for mumbai or the bombay 22 square miles of land which was a very huge land added and this land has been profitably or successfully completed from 1914 to 1918 during the period of world war 1 in bombay the bombay port trust has successfully completed this one after they completed this one they have established the 22 acre land into a ballard estate the ballard estate is a place where today we have the marine drive of bombay which is very very famous so that's how the bombay got its land uh, expanded by having land reclamation walls so this is how some cities grow by adding the lands of the nearby suburban regions but here bombay it got its own land back by pushing aside the sea is it really possible to push aside a sea no we are just stopping the flow of the water by building a great wall so that this land can be positively used for human inhabitation that's what happened here in the land la, sorry land reclamation in bombay land reclamation in bombay was started by william harbey in 1784 this man was a governor during that period of the bombay presidency who initiated the process to build a great sea wall 
his intention was to start the process of reclamation and the what is the purpose for him to go towards the ideology of building a wall there his ideology in building a wall was he needs land for the government purpose and also for the private companies so you know the private company people are ready to risk their financial amounts to get the land back or to find some land in bombay to do their businesses so as situations are becoming worse the private companies are daily feeling very bad to circulate the problem of land acquisition so that's how the need has triggered to build a great wall that is the back bay in 1864 which was adding 22 square miles to bombay geographical area later on in 1914 to 1918 bombay port trust has made it 22 acre balad estate which is now famous as the marine drive of bombay that's how the land reclamation in bombay has been a proved positive advantage for the growth of bombay not only in the geographical aspect but also industrially politically and also to get financial resources dumped in towards bombay which obviously gave chance for the opportunities to grow much larger and larger if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus